Ray Byers Jr. with Byers Solar. Here with our client, Mr. Owens. Yes, Andy Owens. You obviously are now a client of ours with your solar system. What drove you to decide to go solar? What led you to see the benefits of solar? Well, first and foremost, our previous home that Mary and I lived in uh, had solar panels. And so that was about 15 years ago. The solar industry was pretty uh, in its uh, infancy stage back then. And so we actually had 52 panels that were uh, kited uh, freestanding in the, the back of our property. And uh, so it was kind of a unique situation to, uh, like everyone else, they're getting increases from uh, PG&E. And uh, when we bought this property here, it was always in the back of our mind that we wanted to go solar. I realized uh, because of all the CCNRs we have here in the Cedars, that we would need to put them on our roof. One of the reasons that we decided to um, uh, go with buyers was uh, the very fact that you guys have a extensive roofing uh, background. And also I know your father and uh, both you and he have a very great reputation in our community and it was very, very important to Mary and I that we stay local. And so those were some of the reasons that motivated us to uh, go solar and to uh, become a part of the buyer's family. Well, we're definitely happy to have you part of the buyer's family per se. And, uh, you know, obviously going local for us, we, we love that, uh, that, that thought process, that mantra, if you will, of uh, just keeping it in the community, especially throughout Northern California where we have such small communities, diverse communities all scattered throughout. Now you mentioned your previous home um, having quite a few solar panels. Now, when you sold that, uh, were the incoming owners of the property, were they pretty excited? Were they kind of unsure about the solar? Well, you know, uh, when we put the solar panels in, uh, part of the sales to us was, oh, this will help the resale of your property. And uh, the people who bought our home, before they signed the dotted line, they were kind of balking at seeing 52 panels back there because the technology is not as precise as it is today. And so I shared with them that uh, after you get your first PG&E bill and uh, our panel zeroed out our utility bill uh, on the electric side, um, it made it a lot more palatable for them to uh, sign on the dotted line. And, and uh, so that was... Um, I, I think a plus. Your wife, Mary, she's in the financial business. Yes. And so obviously everything going through her mind, I shouldn't say everything, but a, a vast majority of things going through her mind is, is the economics, right. um, which makes good sense, right? right? By going solar, what, what were you seeing as the economic benefit? Well, when we first met with your sales staff, um, one of the things that obviously we were looking at is one, how many panels would it take to zero out our utility bill on a monthly basis? And uh, secondly, could they fit on, uh, I have a guest house here at our property and that's the uniquely only place on this property that it has pretty much sun exposure from sun up to sun down. After all of that penciled out, uh, I think we installed 28 panels uh, on the roof of our guest house and uh, that thus far uh, was uh, looking like it's going to zero out my, my bill. And one of the coolest things that led me to SunPower was the app. I love apps and uh, I think it's really cool to be able to uh, pick up your iPhone and uh, go to the, uh, the app that's controlling my solar energy and on a moment by moment blow, I can see how much my solar panels are producing and uh, how much is going back to the grid. And uh, then at the bottom of the app, it shows a little dollar amount. And that's pretty stinking cool, you know, when you can look at that. And uh, I love technology, to, you know, especially these apps. That's yeah. really great. I, I also have the app on my phone. I also have an app that controls my, uh, my HVAC system in house, the heating and cooling. And, and I'll, oftentimes I'm playing with, with both of them simultaneously, <laughs> looking at the app of solars. Okay, I need to, I need to turn down my air conditioner right. some. Or, and you were mentioning another app uh, that, that I think is pretty unique for conservation as well, which is your irrigation. Yes, I um, have uh, an app, uh, uh, our IT guy that works for our company, uh, he was uh, telling me about he uh, discovered this app that controls my watering system 
and my wife and I were in uh, Scotland and Ireland a few weeks ago and I was sit sitting at a table and I had my iPhone out and uh, my friend came up and saw me goofing around on my phone there and uh, he said, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm watering my front yard. <laughs> and uh, he said, you've got to be kidding me. And I said, no, I'm serious. I said, you know, it's 100 degrees in Grass Valley and I want to make sure my yard has a little bit more water. And so, uh, yeah, it makes you feel, really feel good that you can uh, control uh, elements of your environment, right. uh, whether it be, um, you know, so, sun power or uh, water in my front grass. Right. So we talked uh, briefly about the roofing, um, different uh, different types of contractors that are out there, a lot of different technology. Um, but really, I think the application aspect is is part of the reason too that you were saying that drew, drew you to buyers, just the fact we do have that roofing background. Right. Those rooftop penetrations. Um, they're, they're not fun to deal with. Well, uh, I know your listening audience can't see my, uh, my roof, but it's on a severe slant. And um, it was giving me some kind of pause when your survey team came out after we got the process going. And um, again, it was very important for me to have a skill level that buyers brings behind their solar uh, installation of, uh, you know, you're standing there watching them penetrate holes into your roof and you want to know that they're doing it uh, properly. Uh, but working with buyers has just been a great experience. Uh, every person that I've dealt with have been professional. Um, they've informative to keeping me a blow by blow account of what was going to be expected and uh, especially the install team watching them uh, climb around on that steep roof. You know, they're professional and you, know, you should be proud of your, your, your guys oh, that you've got representing you. Yeah, we're definitely proud of our team. We're very fortunate to have such a great team around us. Now, I, I, when you're watching them up on the roof, it's definitely one of those things that you, even though I know how to do it and I get up there and do it, it's still one of those things when you're watching, you don't have control over them, it's a little nerve wracking. Yeah, I, I can, uh, it was nerve wracking for me just to watch them do it. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's one of the things that we pride ourselves with is making sure that the guys have the skill set, the knowledge base, but also the safety equipment. Exactly. Um, you know, harnessed in, making sure we're, we're all harnessed in and doing all the, everything properly. Yeah, when the, my install started, it actually took them because of the steepness of my roof almost the first day was just spent on making sure that their um, safety equipment and uh, uh, all the ladders were properly installed. So I was quite impressed uh, with that as well. And I also would be remiss if I didn't uh, talk about your electricians. Those guys were really great. It, uh, th there were some challenges that the job brought here. I, I hate it when I uh, get someone to do a job and they look at me and like, geez, I don't know how to do that or I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I never got that from uh, your electricians. They were always, when they run into a, a problem, they would just kind of have that can-do experience of like, you know, Mr. Owens, don't worry about it. Uh, we'll figure this out. And uh, so it gave me a great deal of uh, confidence. I know when we first started the project, one of the things that we were contending with trying to figure out is your automatic transfer switch for your generator system. Right. So you're, you're out here on your property, power goes out, you know, quite a bit some, you know, throughout the winter in Nevada County and you have one of those uh, generator systems that, uh, that keep your home with power. Right. Um, and I know that that was uh, a process trying to make sure that we can isolate the solar from the generator. Right. And that's where... You know, the electricians, um, you know, you, you had a team of them out here and um, kind of troubleshooting, how do you do all of that? And of course, as a layman, um, the bottom line is, you know, you just want to get it done as the, uh, uh, the person who's uh, paying for the project. And again, uh, I've done enough of these projects and uh, have a background in commercial building is, I, I like subcontractors that are just going to come in and have that, uh, uh, I don't want to know what the problem is. I just want to know how you're going to fix it. You know. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, anything else that uh, you know you want to share as far as the process or or your experience? Um, well, you know, from um, uh, Tom, I think was the first uh, Campbell. Tom Campbell, Tom Campbell was the first uh, person that I had uh, interface with. Uh, other than your dad, your dad and I are, are involved in Habitat for Humanity, and um, I first talked to him about solar at an event that we were both sponsoring. And um, so when I talked to your dad, your dad put me in touch with Tom and uh, 
the process started once we uh, were very clear on what the cost were, um, which was very well laid out and um, they introduced me to the team and the team started to be in touch with me and uh, as I said it's just been a very seamless uh, experience and uh, I, I just highly recommend you guys to people who are looking for solar. We're a buyer's cheerleader here. Awesome. Well, we appreciate so, it. Hey, and, and really, thank you for, for entrusting us to be at your home. Oh, well. I mean, that's, uh, that's that for, for us, that's, we, we really appreciate that aspect. Well, we appreciate uh, the great job you've done for us. Thank you. Hey, you bet.